What is happening, boys? There has been some big, big news in the Daisy community this week. Servers are just starting to roll this out, and you can see from the downloads, it's been used by over 6,000 players in the week. Just look at that spike in growth. This is going to take over Daisy. And every aspect from guns, base building, crafting, fishing, and hunting on community servers, it is all about to change forever. I mean, what we're talking here is slingshots. Molotov cocktails, flamethrowers, tools made out of bones, power tools you need a battery for, DIY body armor, and the best bit is, all of it, you have to craft it yourself. This is absolutely massive. First off, let me say, I'm not affiliated with this project in any way. I keep an eye on a lot of Daisy forms, which is where I got wind of it originally, and after it went live this week and I got a chance to test it myself, it absolutely blew me away. So this is it on the Steam Workshop, it's called the NCPR mod, and I'll drop a link to it in the description down below. Now it's not just one single mod, you start with a core download, and then you can pick and choose what modules you want. I'm going to show some examples of the items that can be crafted. I can't go over them all, because we've literally, this would be a two hour video. But I want to go over just the titles first of the different modules. And then we'll have a look at some footage of stuff like the flame chore and the mollets have an action. As well as we'll, we'll check out how you craft these things in game. So first up, they've done a whole new tier on the medical system of using herbs and wildflowers. You can pick them in fields, you crush them up with a pestle and mortar, you add them to a metal cup filled with water and you boil it. And it'll cure stuff like, um, it'll give you antibiotic properties, cure food poisoning, speed up recovery time from flu. Next is ammo repackaging, which is probably the weakest. It's a nice QOL, but nothing groundbreaking. You can repack your ammo into boxes after you take it out. Now we get into the real juicy stuff, and we're going to start off with bushcraft. We'll look at some of these recipes in a few minutes, but we're talking about making extra things with bones, like axes and shovels. You can make slingshots, and you got new uses for animal skins. You guys are going to go wild for this. Next is a rework for base raiding and raiding locks. I have footage of this, and that'll be coming up a little later in the video. Basically, it's an angle grinder with battery and generator, and you cut your way through. I know a lot of server owners have been looking for a better alternative to C4 for some time now, so that might be of interest to you guys. Then we come to gore. I, I really love this one. Basically, when you cut up other players, you now get extra body parts. And you can take those parts and craft them into stuff like a human skin mask. Or you can take the heads and put them on sticks, put them outside your base as decorations. Or you can do what I do and run around with them and beat people to death with a head and a stick, which is absolutely hilarious. You can also now cut up zombies and get parts from them. So this is, this is the big one. It's a really good one. There's a craftable NBC gear module you can add in. I mean, there's nothing to explore there, like it's, it is what it is. Repair is a massive quality of life improvement. Basically what you can do with this is you can repair dozens of items now that you couldn't before. Uh, examples of a few, you can use the electrical repair kit to repair spark plugs. Epoxy putty works for cooking pots, sledgehammers, car radiators. You can use a pair of pliers to, re to repair fishing hooks. So this is, this is nice, this is really nice. The scrap metal module is really impressive. You can scavenge scrap metal by breaking apart vanilla items using stuff like the new angle grinder or the blowtorch. You can then take those metal parts and these extra pieces that, that come off them. You can create new armors, new weapons. Advanced sewing is a bit of fun as well. You can take your stacks of rags and you can turn them into fabric. Then you take those fabrics and you can manufacture them into different clothes vanilla and new. It was a bit of fun to play with. The writing one, I, I'll be honest, I just don't see it making it into servers. You can make huge posters, design or draw whatever you want and put them up on walls for other players to see. Obviously that's going to come with a huge amount of issues straight away. Craftable armors. This is huge. Remember I said about animal skins and scrap metal? Well this one gives you the ability to make a whole range of armors. An entire, there's a whole tier system. And then you can take extra items you find and upgrade those armors too. We'll have a look at some pictures of those types of armors in a few minutes. The module vanilla sketches, you really can't run this pack without it. There's so many different recipes for crafting. 
the, what they've done is they each one appears on a separate piece of paper which you can put into the into the loot here and it'll spawn around the map and you look at it look it, each page will look like a uh, an IKEA instruction manual it'll have a picture of a plank plus nails equal to this or animal skin plus rope equal to this and that that will let your players know all the different recipes are available to to make weapons the one that we're all excited for and this is the big one. This is where you get stuff like your craftable flamethrowers. I have some footage of them to show you. Molotov cocktails. I have footage of the Molotov cocktails in action as well. So we'll get into that in a minute. You've also got stuff like Fallout 4 style pipe weapons. So, you know, you need to combine a hammer plus a wrench plus a pipe plus a can of beans plus something else. You'd be able to fire a single shotgun at a shell at a time. It's really, really, really inventive stuff. Then you've also got upgrades to vanilla melee weapons, like adding a saw blade to a pipe wrench, or adding uh, an, a knife plus duct tape to a metal pipe. It, it's really, it's really inventive stuff. Next, canvases and signs. Again, the same as paper and all that stuff. I don't see anything where players can craft stuff themselves with messages to leave for other players. I just don't see that working on any type of server. Finally, we have airbrushing. We might see some examples of this too. This is a, a kit that spawns, uh, or you can spawn them individually, a, a 10 or so different colors in spray paint cans. And you, you can respray pretty much any item you want to be the color you want. Uh, if you can think about it, you can respray it. So it's a nice, it's a nice quality of life touch. It, it definitely is something that should be in game. Now, as we move on to footage of this stuff in action, I'd ask you guys to drop a like and a sub. I do stream four nights a week, so jump on board if you want to see more. So first, let's take a look at the angle grinder raiding in action. Now, guys, this is not my footage. It's been supplied by the mod author, so credit goes to him. We can see the angle grinders powered by battery packs, and he's charging those battery packs off a generator. Now, if you look at the player, you'll see his jacket on his right arm. He has a scrap metal upgrade as like a makeshift armor. That's all part of the crafting system we've been talking about. And if you look at the mountain backpack he's wearing, He's after building a metal frame to go around it, which holds additional items. Now let's have a look at the crafting recipe instructions that spawn in game. And we'll look at one of the instructions to build the new bone tools. So by combining a rope and a stick, it now gives you a new option to build a tool base instead of just the regular where you'd get an improvised fishing rod. Then you need to combine a knife to bones, which gives you a whole range of new options. But the ones for this tool, we need to make bone needles, a bone knife, and a pelvic bone. You then combine all of those together, and you'll get the option to make a bone axe or a bone shovel. Next, you've got a Molotov cocktail, which I must say is a personal favorite of mine. You take a glass vodka bottle and you empty it out. You fill it with petrol. Stick a rag in the top and combine it all with a lighter or matches and you're good to throw. This could help bring some of the best PvP Daisy has ever seen. Next you'll find pieces of glass lying around the map. If you combine them with a rag, you've got yourself a shank. But make sure you combine it with a rag because using it without it, you'll cut your hands up pretty good. Here I found the recipe for the slingshot. And again, you need to add a rope and a stick to make the base. Add a second rope, bones and a knife, and now you're ready to RP as Dennis the Menace. Now let's see the flamethrower in action. Definitely an end game craftable. It's running its own canisters, look like they've been made from scrap metal as well. And they're filled with petrol. This will take quite a while to gather all the parts needed, so don't expect to be making one as a freshie on the coast. Here's a shot of some of the scrap metal armor you can make, as well as a full metal face mask, so uh, Australians are free to RP as Ned Kelly. This is the human skin mask and skin suit with some body parts you can get from the gore add-on, as well as those heads-on sticks I love beating people with. This is what the crafted metal armor looks like after you've fully upgraded all the pieces. And a first look at one of the pipe guns, which is made from a spray paint can, a butane canister, a can of beans, and a metal pipe. With fitted PU scope, 
There's so much more to this we haven't even touched on. There's base building mechanics which could make BBP completely obsolete. A ton of new furniture and craftable obstacles like you're seeing on screen now. A barbed wire crawl tunnel for your base. There's so much I'm going to do a separate video for players for each module. How to use the medical system, how to craft different furnitures. So keep your eye out for that stuff. I'll release update videos as we get more information but for now that's all I got folks. Catch you on the flip side. It's the milkman baby. Woo!